Animators create two-dimensional and three-dimensional models, images that appear to move, and visual effects for television, movies, video games, and other forms of media. Animators usually work in offices. Others work from home. Typically, they have a bachelor's degree in fine art, computer graphics, animation, or a related field. Animators develop storyboards that map out key scenes and animations, use computer programs and illustrations to create graphics and animation, and meet with clients, other animators, designers, directors, and other staff to review deadlines and development timelines. They need to have artistic skills, communication skills, and time management skills. Being an animator is rewarding in so many ways. The thing I find most rewarding about the work that I do is I feel like I finally found something that combines my love of art and my love of weather and science into one career, uh, especially in terms of lighting. Uh, lighting could mean the time of day. It could mean different atmospheric and weather conditions. I recorded my little nieces. I took them to the zoo one day, and I just recorded them for, I got about almost half an hour of footage for a three-minute short the way animation works i get to design the characters you know after the fact after they tell their stories um so i like putting that together it feels very collaborative so for me the collaborative aspect of animation is very important i just recently worked on rock band 4 and in rock band cameras were super important we had to really come up with cool camera sets that made you feel like you were a rock star, like you were watching a really cool music video that kind of really helped create that rock fantasy. So, you know, cameras and lights were super important in, in all the games that I work on, and we use them in really unique, interesting ways to help the player really feel like they're immersed in the experience. If you prefer, you know, more physical tools like a pencil or chalk and whatnot, um, it's okay. You can work side by side with, you know, your your uh, your friend who likes to draw on the computer and who likes to see it more digitally. And you can, it totally lends itself to working together as well. You know, uh, someone draws a character on paper and someone else scans it and then you have it on the computer and you can polish it up. Life drawing is super important. Like just go outside and draw the world around you and you know, build up those core foundational skills. If you feel like you've done a really good job with that and you want to start exploring 3D art, there's free programs. One is called Blender, where you can actually learn how to do 3D modeling. And same thing, there's lots of tutorials online, so there's nothing stopping you from actually getting started and trying those things out. To keep learning about animators, read through the information below.